I need to get some type of awning. Let's talk about awnings. Those are nice, but they're not tall enough for the 400. You've got the little guide wires, and of course the wind is a factor, but that's an option. And then we have the other options over there, same type of deal with the tarps. Several people have those. That thing's really neat. Let's look at this. This looks like you can make it any height you wanted. Oh, maybe not. Huh, that's kind of neat. Hmm, that's an option. All I want is shade for the dogs and me. I don't want anything to inhibit the airflow. Huh, that could definitely be an option. Got the little screen there. Here comes some high, well, not high wind, but red camp. Huh. This is the only problem with this kind of stuff is I'm going to fall flat on my face, and probably the poodles would too. I'd have to put some little noodles or something. And see, then you have got the, the what about what I call the, people call the baseball cap. It looks like a lace potato chip to me. I just don't like those. I just see potato chip every time I see those. A lot of people like them. And let's see, and then that we have the half umbrellas. A couple of people have those, but that is just not enough room for me. And the dogs. Hmm. And here's a close-up of one of those umbrellas. It's not really a half umbrella, but you can see how they've attached it. And I've also included a picture of a suction cup device that she had on the side of the camper to help hold it on. Oh, this is Rick's setup. Hi, Rick. <laughs> he told me to come by earlier. I was doing other stuff. Let's see, see, they just have like a little tent thing. Hmm. So see, I like that pahake. So, and the walker tent, somebody, I think someone has a walker tent, so the pahake is nice, but I just don't think that will be enough airflow for the poodles. And y'all, look at that little X-Pen. Is that not the cutest little X-Pen you've ever seen in your life? I thought, oh my God, they must have a pet gerbil or something, or like a pet lizard. But no, it's a little dog. <laughs> I thought maybe a chihuahua, but they can jump. But isn't that, oh my God, that thing is about maybe 10 inches tall. It, cracked, it just cracked me up when I saw that. Another one of those big, oh, I don't even know what those are called, but you know what I'm talking about. That reminds me of something you see at a circus. It's cute though. And that's tall, but see the tab is just, I need to measure the height of that top, or at least that where the door would open with something. I just can't pull the trigger on an $1,800 plus Walker tent and put it up by myself. I don't know how oh, I think this is Polly's place. Oh yeah, there's Polly. Polly's stuff. <laughs> Polly's where I took the crochet a uh, little class last time, but see? She's got it tied off really nice, but again, that's probably not, I need a little bit more shade than that, I think. I definitely would want more shade. I like the All Pro awning, but I'm not sure how easy it is to put it up by yourself. And they are $800. But thank you, All Pro, for the permission to use your pictures. These clamshells are another option, but I've read reviews and kind of like I thought, they don't have a lot of airflow. So I'm not too sure about these. And I mean, they don't have a bottom, which that's okay. But I definitely want to get something. As you can see, I need something for shade. And I made those little window coverings from my, one of my latest videos for the windows, but I just need something for shade when we're sitting outside. And I don't know, I thought maybe I wanted something attached, but that clamshell is still an option for me. Let me know what you have and if you'd like it and what y'all think. I definitely think I could make something, but you know how that goes. Sometimes you'll spend a lot of money on something you could have spent a lot less on if you just bought it.